when I was actually five, apparently, I wanted to be a priest. According to the stories given by my parents, my reasons at the age of five was rather comical because at five, I thought priests were really cool because they dressed up like wizards at mass, and I thought wizards were cool. And also at the age of five, you think girls have cooties, so I thought, this whole celibacy thing, it sounds great, no cooties, and I get to dress up like a wizard. Apparently, I thought bishops were even cooler because they had the hat and the staff. So at a vacation Bible school, our pastor asks all the guys who wants to be a priest, and everyone raises their hand except for me. And the pastor was, you know, like, why don't you want to be a priest? I said, well, I want to be bishop. I want the hat and the stick. And he laughed and said, well, you have to be a priest first, so raise your hand. My childhood pastor, Father Mark, met me. A very big impression on me at a young age. He was a charismatic leader. He was very pastoral. He was very fatherly in many ways for me and my family. And so I, I really did look up to him as a spiritual father. In many ways, the, the church kind of formed me in my love for music. And so I think the, the attraction actually to, to celebrate Mass as a priest, I think was the first initial attraction. As I've always told people in my life, is we don't just become priests for them, we become priests because of them. And through the support of the Pentecost Collection, we're able to go to school, <laughs> essentially, and get the training we need to be good priests. Hearing the news with the Grand Jury Report just made me much more intentional, focused, and frankly, more intense about wanting to be a good priest and wanting to regain that trust and respect. Seeing my brother seminarians kind of step up and say, well, you know, Many of us weren't even born when these atrocious things occurred. But we can be part of the solution today. I think it's a very hopeful disposition. And it's one that I take to heart when I'm okay. I may have not been alive during these problems, but I can be part of the solution today. And it starts with how I am as a priest and how I conduct myself and how I lay down my life for those that the Lord has called me to serve. And I'm exceptionally grateful to the diocese for helping me get to this point. I, I wouldn't be here without the diocesan support. I'm very thankful for those who are making the sacrifice to, in some way, contribute to the Pentecost collection. I only ask that they uh, would not mind considering adding the sacrifice of prayer to pray for us who, for all of us who will be uh, ordained the weekend of June 1st. That. We may be spiritually prepared for that weekend, but just be good, holy priests for the people of this diocese. Uh, the people of this diocese deserve nothing less than that.